I've explained in some other videos that 87% of people are working at jobs that they do not like, and this is a huge source of depression. If you fall into this 87%, make sure that you stay tuned and watch this entire video as we do a book review for Crushing It by Gary Vaynerchuk. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And I'm sorry I didn't get this video out yesterday. Yesterday, I was out at the annual Out of the Darkness Walk that is hosted by the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, and it was amazing, but I was exhausted. We walked for, it was like five miles or something like that. Uh, I was out there with my son, my girlfriend, her cousin, my buddy came out, and there was like over 1,400 people. and it was awesome. They ended up raising like over $60,000 for suicide prevention and awareness. So it was great, but I was exhausted, so I didn't get a video out. But anyways, let's get started. If you are somebody who is working at a job that you are not happy with, you need to read this book. And if you know somebody who isn't happy with their job, please share this video with them or get them a copy of this book. So first off, you all know I'm a fan of disclaimers, and the big disclaimer here is I am not telling you to quit your job, all right? I am a mental health channel. I am somebody with an anxiety disorder. I do not want you to go out and cause yourself a panic attack, okay? But in this video, we're gonna talk about some lessons from this book about how you might not be stuck in the situation that you think you're stuck in. For those of you who don't know who Gary Vee is, he's a purebred entrepreneur who is often referred to as a motivational speaker. First and foremost, I wanna say I hate motivational speakers and I don't view Gary as such. I see him as someone who is realistic, practical and passionate about seeing people genuinely succeed. So for any of you who are familiar with Gary Vee and watch his videos or read his books or anything like that, I, I do wanna start off by saying like this is book is this book is absolutely nothing that I expected. Um, like I remember before like picking up a copy of this book and reading it, I was talking to one of my friends, I'm like, uh, Gary says like the same thing over and over and over again. And like two things, first off, that's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. Like we as people, we're like so resistant to people repeating themselves over and over again. But like, I work at a drug and alcohol rehab where we have to do that. And you have to do it with everybody because we are very thick headed, stubborn people. And unless we hear things dozens and dozens and dozens, if not hundreds of times, it doesn't get through this thick skull, all right? But anyways, the first thing that I, I noticed about this book and really loved about this book is Gary is barely in this book, okay? This is a collection of very real inspirational stories about how you watching this video or anybody you know can start working on a path so you're no longer working at a job that you hate going to. Like, come on people, this is a place where we spend most of our lives, okay? So you should not be working somewhere that you absolutely hate. So let's jump into the first lesson from Crushing It by Gary Vaynerchuk. Lesson number one, quit wasting time. Everybody watching this, we have one life to live, just one, just one as far as we know of, and you should not be wasting it doing something that you don't like doing. And to go even further with that, not just something you don't like doing, but something that is actually making you depressed. I don't think enough people understand that we live in this amazing time, this amazing time where you can literally do something that you're passionate about or knowledgeable about, or even a combination of the two and start bringing in some income so you no longer have to stay at a place that you hate. Most people stay at a job they hate because of the money. And look, I get that. I'm a father, I got bills, I need things and I need money. I get that. But think about this. What if, what if instead of coming home and zoning out after your terrible day at work, you spent one hour or two hours doing something that you love or are passionate about? What if after a year of doing this, a year of doing this, every month you're bringing in an extra $1,000? So after a year of doing this, you're bringing in $1,000 a month, $12,000 a year. So if you're sitting at a job that you hate that's paying you $60,000 a year, you can leave that job, go to a job that you're making $50,000 a year at, and you're still coming out a little bit of a ahead. But mainly, you're coming out ahead mentally. 
Think about that for a second. Like one of the reasons why this is the very first lesson I wanted to just kind of throw out there for you is because a lot of people, not only are they working at jobs they dislike, but other people are working at jobs where they work their butt off and they're not getting paid that much. And then they think they have to get a second job. And usually that second job is something that they like even less. What if instead of getting that second job, you were doing something that you actually liked doing? Lesson number two, literally anyone can do this anyone right now you might be thinking not me no anyone <laughs> like something that i love about people and why i enjoy just meeting new people and having conversations is like everybody has these very unique things about them that i absolutely love and uh, the problem is is that a lot of people downplay it right but like what you should do is start to acknowledge it celebrate it and start documenting it so here are two great examples from the book okay first there's pat flynn all right Pat Flynn was an architect and he was working at a job and his company was going through massive layoffs, I believe back in like 2008 when the economy was just plummeting, right? And Pat Flynn was able to pass this architect test and a lot of people can't pass it. So what he ended up doing was just kind of gathering all his notes together and he made a website helping people pass this test. Like he was purely just putting this information together, helping people out for free. And he started to get a lot of website traffic. So eventually he's like, you know what? I'm gonna take all this information, I'm gonna organize it a little bit, and I'm gonna sell a little ebook for 20 bucks, okay? And what ended up happening, he was completely blown away that people actually started to buy this book. One, because they needed it, it was something of value to a very niche market of architects who needed to pass this test, but two, he had provided so many people with so much free value that some of the people were just buying the book even though they already passed the test purely because he offered so much value to them that they wanted to repay him in some way. Now Pat Flynn is doing all sorts of stuff and he is just an entrepreneur doing a lot of different things teaching people how to make income. The next example from this book is Mimi Goodwin and this story is truly inspirational. Um, a lot of you watching this might be able to relate to it. I know I can. She is somebody who grew up with a very, very rough life, all right? Think were always hard for her, okay? And one thing that she loved doing was making clothes. So something that she was very good at was just taking fabrics and making clothes out of them for very little money, and she was making the clothes look like the latest fashions. So what she started doing was just simply documenting it in a blog, teaching people how to do the same. Next thing you know, people started asking her, hey, can I buy this from you? And she was a little reluctant at first, but then she started doing it. And now she has a whole fashion line. You can see right here on her Instagram page, she has almost 300,000 followers. Like she's doing the damn thing all because she started documenting doing something that she loves and that she's good at. And lesson number three, it's not easy by any means, but it's worth it. So like me, I'm extremely fortunate. I'm very fortunate. I actually work at a job that I love. I get to work with people who struggle with their mental health on a daily basis and I get to help them with it. And I love my job so much that I come home and I work my butt off creating these videos for all of you. It is a ton of work, a ton of work. But because it's something that I'm so passionate about, helping people with their mental health, increasing awareness about mental health, being an advocate for mental health, all these things. I love doing it so it doesn't even seem like work. Now, if you don't fall into the same category as me, I've, I wanna let you know like Gary V is not some snake oil salesman. So I, right before making this video, I actually was talking to somebody about this theory I have. I have this theory that we spent like about two decades, all right? There was about two decades where we had friends and family members trying to like get us into their like weird, wacky pyramid scheme, or we were uh, plagued with these ads on TV all the time with like, get rich quick. So I think when people like hear about these kind of things, like following your passion and doing something that you like to bring in some extra money, like they're like, 
nah, man, this is some kind of trick. Like, this is not what it's about. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, like something I love about Gary Vaynerchuk is that he's logical and realistic. Like he's not trying to make you think you can do something that is completely insane. And he's also very clear that you can't just throw up an Instagram account, start posting your favorite Harry Potter quotes and get rich overnight. And he's also not saying that you could just throw up a YouTube channel, take your cell phone out and record yourself like teaching your dog a couple new tricks and like make an entire living off of it. Like all of this stuff that we're talking about, it's gonna take work, consistency and patience. And something I love about Gary Vee is that he's very honest. Like most people who do this aren't gonna be rich. They're not gonna be famous. But hey, who cares? That's okay. Like what we're trying to do is be a little bit more happy and satisfied with our lives. Like that's the goal. Like that's the top of the mountain. You know what I mean? Like getting rich and making a lot of money should never be your goal. It should never be your goal. In fact, right up here in the info card, I will link another video about how success does not equal happiness. Like it's something that we need to realize, but happiness does lead to success and it's been proven time and time and time again. I would not be telling you to read this book if this wasn't something that I've seen with my own two eyes over and over and over again. I even know a lot of people who are doing exactly what this book is talking about. And here are just a few examples. So some of you have seen me mention my friend Kayla and some other videos. Uh, her channel is Panko Bunny. She's also on Instagram. She loves to cook. It's something that she loves to do. And over five years of busting her butt and extremely hard work, she's making a living doing what she loves. And then there's Jordan. I don't personally know Jordan, but Jordan is the perfect example. So what Jordan did was this. All she did was, on Instagram, she documented her weight loss journey of losing 130 pounds. Now, I don't wanna minimize it, like Jordan is hustling, she's very active and doing her thing, and now she's carried over that, that same following over to YouTube as well, but like, think about it, like, I'm, I'm trying to explain the reality of the situation. Jordan is now making a living because she lost weight and she was probably going to do that anyways, but because she documented it, she is now making a living off of something that came natural to most people. Speaking of Jordan, now let's talk about my fabulous, wonderful girlfriend, Tristan. All right, Tristan is an amazing artist. And on Christmas, I got her an iPad. And what she started to do was just doing digital art. And someone she drew was Jordan. And if you're wondering where my amazing thumbnail art came from, it was actually Tristan. She drew that picture of Gary Vaynerchuk. And because my girlfriend has been posting this stuff on Instagram and selling her services, she's actually had people hit her up and draw pictures for them. She's drawn pictures of people, she's drawn pictures of their animals, and while she's not making a full-time living off of it, she is bringing in some extra money to just do some things that she likes doing or buy clothes or makeup. She does love her some makeup, let me tell ya. <laughs> but anyways, she's another great example of doing something she likes doing and generating some extra income off of it. And then there's me, all right? And like I said, I absolutely love my job and I love what I do, but like I said, I got a kid to feed, I got bills to pay and stuff like that. So what I've been doing for a long time is freelance writing and I absolutely despise it. It's just I've been doing it for so long, it's very monotonous and tedious and stuff like that. I just don't like doing it anymore, so I have to force myself to do it to bring in some extra income. But because of my hustle and hard work, I've been working on The Rewired Soul for less than a year. And just last week, the absolute best online therapy program, BetterHelp, they hit me up and said, hey, you can use our link for better help, so if your viewers wanna do online therapy, we'll give you a little something in return. It's called an affiliate link. So, shameless plug real quick, but yes, if you need to do some kind of therapy and you wanna do it online, because maybe you don't have access in your area, or you just feel more comfortable doing it online, like, use my BetterHelp affiliate link. What it does is it helps you out, it doesn't cost you anything extra, and a little bit of that comes back towards supporting the channel so I can make more beautiful videos like this. But aside from that, 
that. I have two eBooks out on Amazon. I have a course up on my website. Like these are different things that I've done to generate enough income so I don't gotta go like get a job at the gas station down the street. So all of these different things, they help support me doing something I love, which is helping all of you. So again, if you're somebody who is very unhappy with your job, like you don't have to be. I highly recommend that you go pick up this book and I will put an affiliate link to this book down in the description below. Like I highly recommend that you check it out. Or do like Gary Vaynerchuk says, like go download it. Download a, a torrent of it. Like do whatever you gotta do. Give it to all, you, all of your friends. Like Gary is more passionate about having people do something that they like doing living a better life than he is about making money. Like, just spread the word, share this video so maybe someone that you know who has been in a soul-crushing job for years might pick up this book and might start taking actions towards living a better life. But anyways, that's all I got for you. I hope you pick up this book. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental health and sometimes it's suggesting books to you. All right, so click that little round subscribe button right there. You can also check out another video I did about the psychology of Gary V. Click or tap right there, all right? But again, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.